I love dodging and burning. It is one of the easiest things to do and really can make a photo pop and stand out. And I have a quick hack that's gonna make it super simple for you to do. Will Simpson here and welcome to Exploring Photography. In this Lightroom editing tutorial, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to dodge and burn your photos to really give it that nice contrast. Just a quick refresh on what dodging and burning is. Well, dodging and burning is the lightening and darkening of your photo. Dodging is the lightening and burning is the darkening of the photo. It, it really helps create a 3D aspect of your, your image, which is flat. So it's a way of really giving it dimension and really pulling the viewer into your photo. Without further ado, let's get into the technique. Now I do recommend following along. So if you want to open Lightroom, take a photo and let's get started. All right, so here's my photo. Now I've done a basic edit on it, but there is something still missing. It looks great and we could probably finish with it right now, but honestly, we can create more dimension by dodging and burning. Now I found that dodging and burning generally works better when you actually work with the natural light in the photo. You can, you can lighten or you can dodge or lighten a dark area, but it tends to work better and look more natural if you dodge or lighten the light parts of the image and burn or darken the dark parts of the image. It just seems to work better, look more natural, but let's go ahead and start. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the brush tool in the top right of Lightroom. Once you have that selected, double click on effect because what that's gonna do is that's gonna reset all of your settings that you have that if there's any settings on it. So for example, if I had contrast and highlights adjusted here, if I double clicked on effect, it will reset that so there's nothing changed. Then what we're gonna do is we're actually going to brush or some people call it paint on the image. Uh, if you wanna adjust the size of the brush, you can do it here and you'll see it get bigger and smaller. What I do is on my mouse, I have a little wheel. I can roll that up and down to change the size. If you have that, you can do that. Otherwise, you can just do the size here. So we'll get a little brush here and we're just gonna paint right here. Now, if you wanna see where you're painting, you can press O on your keyboard and that will show you a selection. The color might be different. For example, mine's green. If you wanna change that, go up to tools, Go to adjustment mask overlay and you can select the color here. It doesn't really matter, it's all personal preference. My favorite color is green, so I use green. To turn it off, press O again. You can also set your adjustment. For example, if you up your exposure, well you can see clearly where I've painted. So let's go ahead and we're gonna just paint the, all the landscape here. And it doesn't, I mean it doesn't really have to be perfect. It can go over a little. It, it really doesn't have to be too perfect. So let's go ahead and get this done. Now, once this is all done, okay, good. Now, there we go. We have officially dodged our image. We're done. Looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> Just kidding. Next, we're gonna remove the dodged part of the image from the dark areas. We're gonna remove the lightened part from the dark parts of that image. So scroll down here on the right side to range mask off. That should say off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click off and we're gonna go to luminance. Luminance is the intensity of light. So the darker the spots, the less the intensity. The brighter the spots, the more the intensity. Select that. Now you'll see a range here. On the left side is the dark parts of the image. The right side is the bright parts of the image. So what do we wanna do? We wanna remove what we just painted from the dark parts of the image. So we're gonna click this range and we're gonna slide it to the right towards the light part of the image. Now, if you wanna see this, you can click show luminance mask. If you click that, it should turn it red. Now you can see we missed a little part here, so we're gonna paint there. We missed a little part here, so we're just gonna fill in those gaps and get those all filled in. Okay, good, so that looks good. So now, as we slide the slider from left to right, you'll notice that it starts to darken, it starts to pull it out of those black parts. The farther we go, the less it gets. And I think we're gonna settle right about there. We're gonna go ahead and click that off. Good, now that looks very bright, but that's okay, we can adjust it later. So once that's done, now we wanna do the exact same thing for the dark parts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll up here, we're gonna click new, and then again, we're gonna double click on effect, and we'll go ahead and lower the exposure quite a lot. Doesn't matter because we can adjust it. Then we're gonna paint here, same place we painted for the dodging. 
So this is going to be the burning part, the darkening. Go ahead and paint all there. Remember, it doesn't have to be super perfect. Depending on your image, you can be more or less specific. Okay, so once that's done, remember you can press O to see, make sure you got it all covered. Press O to turn that off. So then we're gonna scroll down again. We're gonna turn luminance mask on. And this time we wanna remove the dark from the light areas of the image. So we wanna pull the slider from right to left. Go ahead and do that. And there you go. Okay, good. So now that that's done, it does not look good, but that's okay. We can adjust these now. So what we're gonna do is we can tell that it's way too bright. So if you wanna select your masks again, you see these little dots, this one here and this one here. So I'm gonna select the exposure one, the bright one. So we'll click this and you see how it's now selected. And my exposure is at 2.36. That is way too bright. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower this till we find a good point, I think. I think that looks good. Okay, good. Now we're gonna adjust the dark. So again, select the dark one. Okay, good, 2.25 minus 2.25, super dark. So let's go ahead and adjust that. And let's bring out the brightness a little, I think. A little bit darker, yeah. Okay, good, there we go. Now that looks really good. So let's take a look at the before and after. If you scroll down here, this little uh, switch here turns off your brushes. So this is what we're using, it's called a brush. So this turns all of them off. This is the after, this is the before. After, before. Now you can really see the difference. It added a lot more contrast. It really gave the mountains and, and rocks here a lot of depth and feel. And it just brings something to the image. It just adds that little extra oomph to the image, which it's super simple, so why not do it? It takes no time at all. Figuring out exactly how much to dodge and how much to burn does take a little practice, but that's okay because it's super quick and you can easily adjust them as needed. But it really makes the image look much better and it's super simple. It takes no time at all. It just took a little time here because I wanted to really show you each step. We're gonna go ahead and do one more photo. And this time, I'm just gonna go through it really fast. I'm gonna start a timer, and we'll see how long it takes me to do it. So here we go. Starting timer, now. All right, so first step, click the brush, double click effect, ah, okay, start again. <laughs> click the brush, double click effect, make the brush really big, paint on the entire area of the forest. We're gonna raise this. I'm gonna raise this for the dodging. Go down here, luminance mask. This is taking me longer than I expected. Take it out of the dark areas, perfect. New, double click, do this. Paint all over the image. Go to luminance. Take it out of the light. Way too dark. I think we're gonna do 50. Let's check the light. That's a little too bright. Oh, okay, actually that looks good. All right, done. So that took me one minute to do, and actually I fumbled quite a bit. So let's look at the before and after here. Before, sorry, after, before. After, now you could make the darks a little bit darker on this one. So let's go ahead and darken those just, oh wait, did I brighten both? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right, so let's actually darken these here. Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks so much better. Okay, good. <laughs> now we're talking. Good, so before, after, oh, can't even talk anymore. After, before, there we go. That looks much better. Good, you, and you could adjust the brightness here. I think it's a little too bright. So we're gonna lower this just a hair. There we go. Good, I think that looks really nice. Yeah, you see how it looks just more contrasty and kind of pulls you into the image. The dark parts seem like they're, they have the depth and the bright parts stand out. So that's, that's really simple. It took me a minute to do that. With practice, you'll become faster and faster, but that's a really quick dodge and burn technique that you can use on almost every photo, even sometimes on skin. 
takes a little bit more practice, but it is doable. And there we have it. That's a quick and easy hack for Lightroom dodging and burning that can really up your photo game. And in this time of quarantine, I hope you're doing well and getting lots of editing practice. I hope this can help you make your, your photos really stand out. I look forward to seeing what you create. If you do use this technique and post it on Instagram, I would love to see them. Tag me and use hashtag exploring photography, that way I can see them. And as always, don't forget to enjoy the journey that is exploring photography. See you guys next time. Just follow along with me. That's just too much. Out of those parts of the image, if that makes sense. No, that doesn't make sense.